Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Espresso on S3. Now, Tabsy, you weren't here yesterday, but we went dinosaur yeah. crazy on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Oh, what did you guys do? We, we got <laughs> to that. find out about, yeah, no, we did a lot of that. Yeah. We found out about dinosaurs and, of course, J.P. Sebastian started chatting to the director and cast of Jurassic World Dominion. And the compliments that came from the cast, absolutely amazing. He knocked it out of the park. Oh, wow. And right now, he's about to chat to the two leading stars of the film. And no doubt, he's going to knock it out of the park again. Uh, hi, so I'm JP Sebastian for Expresso, all the way from South Africa, Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. Hello. What's hi. up? How you doing, JP? Uh, it is a real pleasure to be talking with you guys. Thank you for taking the time out to, to join us. Our right. pleasure. So, uh, j just, uh, Chris, could you do me a solid, though? If I get too talkative or, or too excited, oh, geez, guy, could you just maybe reach out? There we go. Uh, Bryce, <laughs> if, if, you, if you could make clicking noises with your face, Bryce, then my attention will be... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. more dolphin. I, I need to click <laughs> on dolphin. All right. I'll do... <laughs> You're already doing it. <laughs> peace. Peace, peace. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> My inner blue. Okay, so speaking about inner emotions, feelings, and all that kind of stuff, we could talk about the thrills, the spills, the technical, and all of that, but I was really surprised as a dude who's usually a grinch, a grouch about movies. Two emotions I want to talk to you about individually. Bryce, starting with you. Uh, a centerpiece for me, in a way. So everyone's got their monsters. Uh, I'm a dude who digs dinosaurs as much as anyone, but you know, it's not necessarily the thing that I find like the, the apex of scary as far as movies go. Give me witches, whatever. But how does an actor get me to feel tense and fear with the scene where you've now parachuted into the jungle, the submergence scene? Talk to us about shooting that. Scary. Oh, that was, that was actually the, the parachuting scene was the first thing that I shot when we came back after having been shut down as we all experienced in March of 2020. And I remember it was kind of thinking at first like, oh, this is gonna be just like a simple thing. I'm like sitting in a parachute like seat, you know? I mean, that was when I got all those bruises. Yeah. That you were like, you've got to post that. Um, it, it ended up being like one of the most f physically challenging things that I've ever done because you're just like throwing yourself around in, in this seat and, and all of that. But, you know, I mean, I find that when someone, maybe this is just pathetic, but like if someone screams, I get afraid. Like my nervous system reacts to it. Like it can't, it can't not. And so just when you start sort of like screaming and panicking, it gets your own nervous system going and then hopefully it's impacting the audience and the audience's nervous system is going. And so that's, that's the, I, I think that the answer is just screaming a lot by screaming. <laughs> Specifically, however, I can't go back to the answer, unfortunately, because I'm eating my time. But I was talking about after that, the, the thing with the long claws and you submerging yourself under the water, even though it's not necessarily like pound for pound, you know, punchy kind of thing, like it's still super tense. But obviously your seat scene too, uh, the breathing is so important. You obviously know that so well as an actress. Pooped myself. Yes. Chris. <laughs> yes. yes. So uh, firstly, I've got to say on fear, great job that, you know, like it's not necessarily 100% macho man swashbuckling. The fear is important in your character too. But the other emotion that I wanted to talk about is I was super surprised to find that I was welling up with some scenes where you're herding uh, them with horses and you're reaching out to the one uh, dinosaur. It's not necessarily like super messianic and grandiose and champion and all that kind of stuff, but there was no temptation to do something goofy. How do you bring about that sort of really emotion? I, I welled up watching that. How, how, what, what is shooting that scene like? Well, I mean, really uh, just having absolute trust in our director. Uh, Colin Trevorrow is a fantastic director. You know, he wrote this character. He knows this character as you know certainly as well as me and and so it's it's really a collaboration there and and just putting your trust in into somebody because really you're oftentimes looking at something that's not there or in in this case we had like a sort of uh not not a full animatronic but like a kind of a, a puppeted type of head so mm -hmm. it's really a collaboration kind of coming up with the physicality and always always taking it seriously never goofing around never never making fun of it you know, understanding that the audience will suspend disbelief. This is going to be real. And so treating it real, to, the stakes are high, just like if you were hurting a, a wild Mustang or something like that, it's dangerous, but there's a certain natural beauty there as well. And 
I think just really trusting Colin that he's not going to leave me hang out to dry because it, it's pretty embarrassing to do those scenes when you're like, there's nothing there and you're like having a whole moment with like air, you know, it, it could be pretty bad. So you have to you have to trust that he's not going to let you suck. Yeah, that you're taking care of. Yeah. Yep. Uh, acting is a weird job, you guys, but you so pulled it weird. off. Knock, so knocked it out the park. I've been walking around like Borat, like since I've seen this movie. I oh. oh. need to go for surgery. I'm going to get these, I don't know, put down somehow. But guys, excellent. Congratulations. You wrapped one of the most important series in film of all time on a stupendous high. I, oh. I can't believe it. Because, like I said, total grouch usually. Guys did an excellent job. Thank you so oh, much for your so time. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Like, like Chris was saying, I mean, Colin Trevorrow was really the architect of the Jurassic World movies. And we were so lucky to have been chosen yeah. by him to, to be involved in this. And he's taken incredible care of us as people and of our characters. So we're very lucky. That's the truth. The seriousness, the urgency all comes across, guys. Good job. Uh, great message. Also, just tons of fun. Uh, so thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>